Good morning, everyone. Cooker and Jessica here. It is day 13. We are leaving Lickdale, Pennsylvania. Um, getting started on the trail this morning. We got a couple of days into Port Clinton, uh, which goes right into the town, but we did a resupply, hopefully so we can get all the way to Palmerton, um, which only put us a couple of days from the border. So we're looking forward to that. But uh, last night's sleep was okay. It was a little loud. Um, and we had to do a three mile road, road walk into town because nobody would pick us up. Um, I think it's because I was in the back and Jessica was in the front and they couldn't see her. Um, I think we'll put her in the back so they see that first, you know what I'm saying, next time. Um, maybe we'll get picked up a little easier. But uh, nice day so far, weather's supposed to hold out, so wish us luck. Here we go. So we're, uh, we're headed up Bake Oven Knob, and uh, then we're headed to the shelter, but this, this can be really annoying. It slows you down, and that's all it is, is a bunch of medium-sized pokey rocks. Pokey. So we did 14.3 miles today. Uh, we're at camp. And the uh, the rocks today were brutal. Really hurt our feet and our so legs. So bad, so bad. Um, but there's a couple of banshees. Look out! Hey, good morning. We are awake today, camp's broke down, and we haven't taken much video the last few days just because the trail's been kind of unforgiving to that. <clears throat> and, you know, you kind of get discouraged and upset at times when every step is on a rock. However, this morning we woke up, we're heading into town this afternoon, gonna have some lunch at a diner and then head back out. We also get to stop at a candy store, which is awesome. Uh, but this is the trail this morning and it is quite, quite beautiful. Living that high 
Tracker Life. Dodge this one. I'm sure there'll be another. Hey guys, uh, quick update. We just uh, finished 200 miles. So just uh, just passed that marker, and to celebrate, we brought out wraps from town. So good turkey wrap and 200 miles. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning. Uh, climbing out of our campsite this morning, uh, we're knocking out uh, the pulpit and the pinnacle. Uh, it's going to be hot today, like 92. Uh, the sun's shining. It's been raining for the last couple days and cloudy, so we're expecting to see some snakes. So hopefully that happens, and hopefully nothing bad happens other than that. And uh, but yeah, these are supposed to be two hard climbs, but nice uh, viewpoints and everything. So check in later. So we're out here at the pinnacle, and on the way, a bunch of people told us that. There are a ton of copperheads out here. So, of course, we're out here looking for them. Because we're smart. But we haven't seen any yet. But this view is amazing. Found one. Okay, so Jessica and I are just bebopping down this trail, nice smooth grade, making up some time, and all of a sudden she yells stop, and this is why. Hello, Mr. Radler. Sometimes you come into town and you get dropped off at the market and then some nice lady named Barbara takes you over to the laundromat and then you get to walk across the street and eat some awesome food from a pizzeria. But then... You have to do a one mile road rock in the 92 degree heat to get to your hotel. But I ain't complaining. Are you complaining? Nope. All right. Good morning. Um, we just got dropped off by Mike Sheridan for from Sherpa Shuttle Services. Yep. Um, and an uh, awesome guy. He took us into town yesterday and just dropped us off. But His wife um, makes cookies. Yes, she does. <laughs> and they're really good. Um, we uh, Yesterday, we decided in the morning that we were going to go ahead and go into town a day early. Um, the rocks have just been crap, and our feet and things were just feeling bad. And We're learning out here um, when to just stop and say that we're ready for a break. And yesterday we were ready. So, so ready. Yeah, we went into town and resupplied, and um, we went to this little market in Lehighton, and uh, a lady named Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. She actually um, gave us a ride to the laundromat, which was awesome. Um, everyone there was pretty intrigued by what we were doing, so we got a lot of questions, and we just happened to, to run into her, and she said, well, do you guys need a ride? And that was really awesome, so thank you. And uh, we stayed at the Hampton Inn, and it was a really nice sleep. And we are in for a treat today because it's going to be um, about 13 miles and a lot of that is going to be some pretty hardcore rocks um, on our feet and ankles and all that stuff. So um, we're hoping it doesn't rain this afternoon. It's looking like there's a 40% chance. So we'll see about that. We're going to go over Knife's Edge today and um, we should see some interesting stuff. So um, yeah, we're, we're headed back out and we're feeling refreshed. Super, super duper refreshed.
All right, so getting ready to go over the knife's edge here. And uh, I was gonna film it and Jessica told me that I couldn't. Um, and then she said that my mom told me to be careful. And I told her, you don't talk about my mom that way. She's a saint. And so now I'm not gonna film it. And that way, right there. This one scared the crap out of me. in the middle of the trail thank you you're awesome so coming down into palmerton i made a little better time we don't really know what we're going to do tonight however we get our first look at what's next lehigh gap, lehigh gap. continuing our climb here about halfway up now and we just had to basically rock climb all of this area you can't see it very well in the video, but it's pretty darn steep. And about 25 feet down, I dropped a water bottle, which proceeded to roll another 40 or 50 feet down. So I had to do that part twice. And she wouldn't even get it for me. Can you believe that? Hey, quit throwing rocks at me. Out. <laughs> so we made it up the climb uh, out of Lehigh Gap, and uh, there were times when it was uh, vertical handhold, yeah. like put the poles away. Uh, very hot, but uh, this lady right here is is a champ. She made the whole way. Pennsylvania is finally showing us some of its beauty, huh? <laughs> 